Hello, this is Mark Brand from Alpha Controls, one of Canada's leading suppliers of sensing, measuring, and controlling instrumentation for a variety of different industries, such as pharmaceutical, life sciences, food and beverage, and cannabis, just to name a few. In today's episode of Brand Brands, we have two special guests, Rob Yaffe and Julie Stiebeck from K Instruments, a global leader in thermal validation. Julie and Rob, welcome. Thank you. Let's get into it. First question, what is thermal validation and why do we need to perform it? Thermal validation is temperature mapping of a controlled stability chamber. And because pharmaceutical products are stored in those chambers and they're very sensitive to fluctuations in temperature, we perform thermal validation tests to prove that that chamber is going to perform the way it should. Thanks, Julie. Next question is what tests are performed during a thermal study? During a thermal study, common tests would include power loss, open door, sterilization. For example, in an open door study, you want to see how is your chamber affected if someone comes along and opens the door for 30 seconds or five minutes, or in the event of power loss, how long can your chamber keep that product within spec without power? That's great, Julie, thanks. Just a follow-up question. How long does a thermal study take? It's really application specific, but typically I would say between 24 to 48 hours. So this is a situation that comes up a lot with our customers and coming up a lot more often. Wired versus wireless. So Rob, tell us, why would you use a wireless system versus a wired system? Mark, it's a great question. It's very application specific. For example, we would suggest a wireless system for warehouse mapping based on the cost of running thermocouple wire. However, for the extreme temperatures of LN2 and dry heat ovens, where the electronics in a wireless system would not survive, we suggest a wired system. So here's another one I get all the time. Do I need to calibrate my temperature probes before and after a thermal study? Great question, Mark. We get asked that a lot as well. And it really depends if you're using a wired or wireless system. For example, in a wired system, we use thermocouples, which can be altered during the qualification study. Therefore, it's required that you do a pre and a post calibration. In a wireless system, we use an RTD, and it's not affected by mishandling as a thermocouple. Therefore, it is not required to do a pre and a post calibration. Julie and Rob, thanks for coming up to Alpha and being part of this episode of Brands Brands. We'll see you soon. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands.